good morning. Uh, as you all know, we're taking an extract uh, that says, analyze representations of people's political motives and actions. Uh, before we go into the content, I'll just do a quick uh, sort of dissection of it. Uh, so, as most of you will probably know, analyze means to examine methodically and in detail. Um, we'll keep that in mind as we uh, look at representations. So basically, when we look at representations, we're looking at um, characters, and not just the characters of, of the people, but the character of, of the places, of, of the people, sort of things, and, um, how, they, how they link together within that world uh, of the text. Um, uh, but also, we're looking at techniques, so how uh, Aldous Huxley um, presents those, and how that actually shapes what we think of them. Uh, and of course, of people's political motives and actions. Um, here we're talking about um, the society within the book, but we're also talking about the relationship between that society and the world that we live in, um, in terms of politics. Now, Aldous Huxley uh, published Brave New World in 1932, uh, but despite the text's age and the social circumstance, uh, it, is still arguably, uh, it still arguably remains as a, as, as a satirical representation of the political constellations in contemporary society. Uh, our, present our presentation today will uh, hopefully provide an insight into the political motivations and actions of characters within, within the text, as well as the relationship between these representations and political concepts in the real world, as I just explained. One can easily observe in Huxley's Brave New World that a character's political motivations are defined by their found foundational context. Uh, the world state, as a prominent example, makes a conscious effort to stabilize its individuals through scientific and technological means. Uh, some prime examples include uh, the, uh, the Prokhanovsky process, uh, hypnopedia con uh, conditioning, SOMA, and uh, feelings, uh, which in particular is made explicit when Lenina uses one as a tool uh, to alter John's attitude towards her. Yet despite the world state's conscious efforts to control this, we see that even without a controlled environment, uh, characters, namely John, uh, use a different frame, uh, in this case uh, Shakespeare, uh, as the eyes in which they see the world. Uh, and perhaps the text is suggesting that an individual is simply a marionette to the society uh, it was born, or rather manufactured in. However, this abstract concept, this abstract concept is arguably, arguably challenged to the way in which characters are represented, and we'll go through a few of those characters. Uh, the degree of realism in Brave New World's multitude of political perspectives is greatly enhanced through the use of historical, ideological, and literary references, all of which construct the representations of our world in an often satirical manner. We see this through the deification of Henry Ford uh, as an icon of consumerism, progress, and the drive of society to meet demands. Uh, consistency between texts, uh, such as 1984, uh, suggests that there are always outliers from the political agenda. Uh, in particular, within chapter uh, 10 to 13, we see the revelation of the abuse of power and the indefinite nature of the past, where Linda accuses the director of making her have a baby, and the room suddenly falls silent. As an archetype of a, utop a utop dystopian novel, Brave New World uses an exaggerated version of our real society to uh, produce a warning of the industri industrially focused future we are progressing into. This is much more further study of John. <coughs> John is like a morality sponge. His communication of language um, enables him to verbalize his own complex emotions and reactions. It provides him with a framework from which to criticize world's well deep values and its political movements. Um, from Shakespeare to Bible to creation myths of the reservation to stories he hears about the civilized world. John's conscience is struggling to grasp the unfamiliarized ideals replicated thoroughly throughout the world today. Um, lying in bed, we think of heaven in London, and Our Lady of Acoma, the royals, the rows of babies, and clean bottles, and Jesus flying up, and Linda flying up, and the great director of Walter Hatchley's, page 111. Spoken of his Christianity, Native American religion, and the civilized world mixed up in his mind. The expression of allegory is well cloaked as Huxley details to readers how John Kemp a line between the indisputable reality that the world state is and the various religions beliefs he has picked up on, reason being of Islamic acceptance into the culture. Animalistic, with all this animal um, imagery running amok in this novel, one of John's main concerns is to keep himself human and, and not animalistic. In chapter 10, Huxley begins the 